In the expression for the numerical wave number, delta is 15 meters, dt, which you could get from your FDTD simulation, is about 35 nanoseconds, and omega 2 pi f at 1 megahertz. So what I end up with is the numerical phase velocity along the grid axes is 2.9915754 E8 meters per second, which is just a bit smaller than the speed of light, which is 2.9979 E8. If we then consider wave propagation along the diagonals, in this case, kx and kz are going to be both equal to k tilde over square root of 2. So along the grid axes here, or the diagonals, along the diagonals, kx and kz are always going to have be positive numbers because k is always a positive number. It's 2 pi over beta. So I know it's tempting to have here, this would be a, considered a negative x, negative, and a positive z. Uh, but in this case, our k vector, all the k is always going to have a positive number, no matter which diagonal it's propagating along. So after plugging this in, this k for kx and kz, now both terms are equal to each other. So we can have 2 times c delta t over delta sine k tilde delta over 2 square root of 2. And the right side is the same. So then we can move the two coefficients, 2 and this, over to the right side. And then we can also then take the square root of the entire equation. So let's see. First, if we move those coefficients to the right side, so at the moment this is still squared, we're going to get 1 half delta over c delta t squared and sine squared. So now if we take the square root, this goes away, this goes away, this goes away, and we get square root of 1 half. So now it's a little easier to solve for k. We get 2 square root of 2 over delta arc sine delta over c delta t square root of 2. And then sine omega delta t over 2. So this is the same expression as what we got along the grid axis, except the only difference is that we have a square root of 2 here added in and another square root of 2 right there. So here it is written again. So now go ahead and plug in our values for delta, delta t, and omega in order to calculate the numerical phase velocity along the grid diagonals and compare your answer with the speed of light and also with the numerical phase velocity that we calculated earlier along the grid axes.